The Royal Australian Navy state-of-the-art landing helicopter dock ship, or LHD, will provide the Australian Defence Force with one of the most capable amphibious mission systems in the world. Between 2014 and 2015, BAE Systems Australia is contracted to deliver two LHD amphibious assault ships to the ADF. The LHD's advanced amphibious capabilities will serve to bridge the confluence between water, land and air, allowing an amphibious battle group to seamlessly exploit the maritime manoeuvre space. At 231 metres long and 27,800 tonnes, the LHD ships deliver superior capacity and systems that will enable networked surface, ground and air forces to continuously manoeuvre between locations afloat and ashore, thereby unifying the littoral domain. The enormous LHD superstructure sponsors the Amphibious Task Force Nerve Centre. The forward superstructure area hosts the ship's operation room, bridge and flight control. More centrally located is the air traffic control centre, the secondary joint operations room, the primary joint operations room, which includes the supporting arms coordination centre, two large planning or multifunctional rooms and the joint briefing room. Together, they provide operational and tactical level commanders with the means to command and control concurrent maritime, land and air operations. In times of diminished host country access, instability and uncertainty, the LHD will also provide an amphibious task force with the means to poise or posture at sea entirely independent of onshore infrastructure. The LHD features the most capable flight deck, dock and supporting facilities, which are integral to the rapid projection of combat power ashore, irrespective of whether landing forces are launched from near shore or from over the horizon. Air operations may be launched from six medium lift helicopter flight spots or four heavy lift helicopter flight spots. Refuelling and defuelling facilities are integral to all spots and a helicopter in flight refuelling capability provides additional flexibility. As well as sponsoring the superstructure, the starboard side of the LHD provides medium and heavy lift helicopter parking spots and attack helicopter rearming points. An aft aircraft elevator connects to the hangar which accommodates all ADF aviation assets. A second aircraft elevator is located forward of the superstructure for personnel and equipment. The LHD Well Dock and its four LCM-1E landing craft are capable of landing all components of an amphibious battle group across a beach. An inclined dock floor, central steel fender, perforated steel beach, and responsive stern ramp all serve to guide and protect landing craft while also calming the two metre deep waters in the dock. Landing craft are loaded and unloaded at the steel beach from the adjoining heavyweight cargo garage and serviced by 18 tonne gantry cranes which seamlessly move ammunition and cargo throughout the lightweight and heavyweight decks. An internal vehicle elevator and vehicle ramp serve to move vehicles and cargo between the two vehicle decks. The LHD's onboard sustainment facilities serve to reduce the logistic force footprint ashore, eliminate any reliance on ports, airfields or host nation support and support the primary requirement of ship to objective manoeuvre. Accommodation facilities ensure that the 1403 deployed personnel maintain a high level of physical and mental fitness as well as operational awareness by providing 18 briefing and recreation rooms, two gymnasiums, two reading rooms, 
video, television, music, telephones and internet facilities. The LHD is serviced by an onboard hospital with comprehensive medical facilities comprising of two operating theatres, 56 beds ranging from intensive to low dependent care beds, a medical laboratory, x-ray facilities, a pharmacy and dental surgery. The supporting medical infrastructure on board the LHD moves patients from two embarkation triage points adjacent to the flight deck and the dock to the hospital via a dedicated hospital elevator. The LHD is fitted with an electric generator propulsion plant installed in separate engine rooms and located in two of the six watertight fire zone compartments. Two diesel generator sets and one gas turbine drive two 11 megawatt electric pods and two 1.5 megawatt bow thrusters, which provide exceptional performance and closed water manoeuvrability. Two landing helicopter dock amphibious assault ships built by BAE Systems Australia in conjunction with Spanish subcontractor Navantia will provide the Australian Defence Force with superior expeditionary force capabilities for presence or deterrence, reconstruction or stabilisation operations, special recovery operations and in the most extreme circumstances, combat operations.